Peace and love creatives, it's Sketchbox time. As always, first and foremost, the artist on the box, Zachariah Elberon, I think that's how you say it. It looks really cool, it's very um, fun. I like what he did with the, sh the, the light on the side of the face and everything, it's, it's really well done. It's interesting. All right, let's get into this box. Um, yeah, a long story about this box and where it's been. But uh, before we get into that, the first thing we take out is the fine uh, liner set by King Art. And there's 12 colors in that thing, which is crazy. And you're gonna see why it's crazy. Because not only do we have, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, first the art, the featured artist, which is Nicoli Shaver. As a part of the Sketchbox team, Nikolai helps to create the educa uh, educational content of our boxes and illustrates our monthly sticker. His personal work fuses on portraiture and floral illustration. With a distinct graphic style, he describes himself as a avid mixed media artist and his work has been exhibited in galleries across the PNW and, Den and Denver. All right, so we get... Uh, Three Acrylic Wash by Holbein in the colors Juan Brilliant, Light Green, and Magenta. We also get a Princeton Pointed Filbert size 4 paintbrush and a Rembrandt watercolor paper, hot pressed, 4 by 6 inches, and there's 10 sheets. But not only do we get that, we get a whole entire 16 dot card of Daniel Smith, which is crazy. Like, I get it that um they're focusing on nikolai shaver's uh mixed media background but holy moly <laughs> this is a lot of stuff like there's too many options you know what i mean so um while i show you really up close and personal the colors i'm gonna read them out to you uh, out loud uh, you got Hands Yellow Light, you got Lemon Yellow, New Gamboge, Transparent Pyro Orange, Permanent Alizarin Crimson, Quinacridone Magenta, Opera Pink, Rolls of Ultramarine, Cerulean Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Mayan Blue, Thalo Green, Permanent Green Light, German Greenish Raw Umber, English Red Ochre. Okay, that's just the dot cards. Now, with the uh, King Art Pro Color pens, which I don't think they had the names on the box. I don't remember. But there's 12 of them. <laughs> there's 12 fine liners, which is crazy. So what we're going to do is we're gonna move everything to the side and we're going to swatch everything. Okay, so while I get everything ready, Let's have a little chat about where this box has been. I feel like it's like a naughty box. You know what I mean? Like it was supposed to be at home by 10 o'clock and it got home at like 1.30 a.m. Yeah, this box is a very bad box. It went all over the United States before it got to me. It feels like it went all over the United States before it got to me. It left a uh, shipment uh, on November 23rd and it just got to me and today is December 5th so that goes to show you just how long I've had this box um I just think it's it's great it's hilarious <laughs> Uh, I, I got in touch with Sketchbox and they assured me that it there's the tracking information is still there so it's not lost give it a minute or a couple of days and it'll be here so me the impatient person that I am I waited impatiently <laughs> and as soon as I got it I was like gimme 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 <laughs> I ripped it open and I started well here here we are and that's why there's no um uh, it's a voiceover and all that because yeah I just I just want to get in it so here we are uh, swatching all the dot cards and I'm trying to be very very like stingy <laughs> with how much paint I put on the sheet to get the colors um, because there's not much um, 
I know the colors I'm gonna like go for more you know more often than not so I'm not worried and I also know that watercolors can go a long way even with this dot card you can you can definitely make a really nice um, illustration with just these uh, dot cards you really can instantly that English red ochre is by far my favorite so now we're going to try out the Holbein gouache and the colors again that we got are the light green, the Juan Brilliant and the magenta. So first I watered down the colors, then I just put the colors straight on and then I mix them together to see what different colors I can get. Okay, and I left enough space for the fine liners. I try to get them in like some kind of color order, but it's not, you know, 100% great. But I just drew a line to see the colors for what they are and how accurate the tops are, you know, just, just in case. And once I'm done doing all that fine liner stuff, I just write the names of the colors for the acrylic gouache. I didn't even bother for the swatches that I did with Daniel Smith only because they have their dot cards and honestly the swatch that I did what I when I swatched them I kind of like spread a little bit of the colors out on the card as well so eh, it's fine okay and now it's time to make some art and if I tell you that I didn't know which direction I was going in with this, with all the stuff that's going on at home, you know, family coming over, the holidays and all that stuff. So it's really busy. And with the box not coming when it should have come, I just kind of like just started throwing things on a piece of paper. So you saw me using the, um, I think it was the Mayan dark blue on the first sheet. Then the second sheet, I just started with a flower uh, drawing. I, I was just trying to be very loose and kind of honestly quick with my uh, picture, just because I there's a lot of supplies here. And I will revisit this box, just I, I don't, I, I just didn't have anything in the, in the, there was nothing in the brain that really wanted to be made. You know what I mean? So I just kind of, I don't know, doing mindless little um, pencil sketch uh, sketches. I was considering using a pencil and I'm like, I, I kind of like talked myself out of it. I'm like, Elisa, you have fine liners, you have watercolor dots, you have acrylic gouache. Do you really need to use a pencil right now? Like, can you do it without a pencil? <laughs> so I decided not to use the pencil and just go with what I was like feeling. And that's where this guy comes in. And I don't know, I just saw this figure on the page and that's why it's over to the side like that. Like that's what I saw and that's what I drew, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So that's what I did. And I just, you know, I put the watercolor until I couldn't anymore. And I just was moving back and forth with the pieces because, you know, <laughs> I have to do, I, I can't wait. And I don't have like a hair dryer or a heat tool to dry it quickly. I need to invest in one, I really do. So once I was done putting the um, acryla colors down on this sheet, I decided to go in with the fine liner and just put like little dots in the middle of the flower to kind of like maybe give it not a sunflower per se, but that kind of feel. And then because I had so many fine letters, I'm like, oh, maybe I should just draw some um, hatching lines all the way up. And by this point, I was like, yeah, I'm kind of bored of this. <laughs> so I stopped and that's as far as I go. <laughs> and I put the background with a little bit of like the sun coming through it. And then because these fine liners, like they're not waterproof, I just threw some water on it and made it the background. Uh, this one I actually had a lot more fun with than I thought I was going to. And it, it just, I don't know, it just, I was feeling it. 
and the fine liners were like definitely a very big help. I was enjoying mixing like the burgundy that I'm using now with the yellow and creating like, yeah, I made an error <laughs> on the forehead and I was so upset because I was really enjoying this piece, but I try to fix it. I might go in with like a magic eraser because I hear that you can do something like that. Um, now as for this paper, to be honest with you, I don't, I'm not 100% in love with this paper. The paper ended up like pilling, which I've never seen water, um, hot press watercolor paper do. Uh, besides that, I think all the supplies were really, like really fun to use. And um, I look forward to actually having more time to play with all of the supplies that came in this box. Um, I'm pretty much done and I don't know, I like it. That's it for today. Peace and love, guys.